Hello, my lovely friend! Welcome to today's episode where we're going to explore a pet and all the different animals that could be a pet. Can you think of an animal that could be a pet that might live in your home? What kind of animals can be a pet? Those are amazing ideas. Do you have other ideas of what animals can be a pet? I love your ideas. Well, we might have all kinds of different animals to be our pets. We could have lizards. We might have mice or rats. Guinea pigs could be pets. Some people have even tarantulas or snakes as pets. But other animals can be pets too, such as birds or cats. Maybe a bunny or a dog. Lots of animals can be our best friends. So if you're ready to learn about pets with me and make some pet inspired art and crafts, put your hands up, put your hands down, clap, and take your magic paintbrush and wave it all around and let's make some art. We're going to draw a fun pet now. Can you think of any kinds of pets? What animals could be a pet? Hmm, give me uh, some ideas. Oh, those are absolutely amazing ideas. I love all of your ideas of what animals could be pets. So what pet should we draw today? Hmm, we could draw a cat. We could draw a fish. We could draw a lizard or a guinea pig or maybe a mouse. We could draw a cat or a dog. Maybe I know. Here's the, here's the perfect one and it's going to start with the letter B. So we're going to draw a capital letter B. we're going to draw a lowercase letter B. Uppercase B, lowercase B. Do you know what pet starts with the letter B? B says B, B, hmm, B. Can you guess what pet or animal starts with a B sound? Bunny, yes, we're gonna draw a bunny. So let's start with Spelling the word bunny, and bunny starts with the letter B. Next, we hear an uh, uh sound. So, uh, we'll draw a U. So, bun, bun, n. I hear a n sound. That sounds like a letter N. Bun, knee, bun, knee. I hear another N when I say the word bun knee. Bun knee. That's two N's. We can hear when there is a double consonant in our words. Bun knee. E. Oh, it's not an E, so it does say E at the end, but another letter when we put it at the end also creates that sound, and that letter is Y. So we have bun, knee, bun, knee, bun, knee. Put it together, it says bunny. And bunny starts with the letter B. Letter B for bunny. So let's draw a bunny because bunnies are such nice pets. All right, let's begin with some zigzag lines. I like to make my bunny 
nice and fluffy, so I use zigzag lines to make a fur texture. Next, we're going to draw a big circle below for our bunny. From there, we're gonna draw two curving lines down to the bottom of our paper. Next, we're going to draw two big bunny ears with two curving lines on the top of our paper. In each of those, we're gonna draw another curving line for the inner ear. If you want a fluffy tail peeking out, you can draw curvy lines at the bottom so it looks like it's peeking out from behind the bunny. Let's add a face on bunny. Let's draw a line and we're gonna draw a dot below Next, we're gonna draw a line down on a diagonal to the dot to make a letter V shape below the line to make the nose. Next, we're going to draw a lowercase letter W, lowercase letter W just below to make the mouth. On each side, we're going to draw a circle. A circle on each side so we can create two eyes for our bunny. In each circle, we're going to draw a small circle for the glare of light on the eyes. Because when we look at our own eyes in the mirror, they are very shiny, so light reflects off our shiny eyes and makes shiny white spots. So we're going to draw that on our bunny so it looks extra cute. And then you can color in the dark of your eyes. And once you're done, you're ready to color in your bunny using your favorite art mediums and favorite colors. You can make your bunny any color you want. It could be a rainbow bunny, it could be a brown bunny, or a black bunny. Maybe you have a gray and white bunny. You can make your pet bunny any color you want. So cute. Once you're done coloring bunny, your bunny is ready to go and play with you in your home and you're ready to make a craft with me. All right, it's time for our craft. We need a few things. We need something to draw with. We need some scissors. And we need either some glue or some tape if you have it. Tape is nice and fast and flexible. That's nice to have. We need something to color with perhaps. And we need some paper, any kind of colored paper. That's great to use. And let's get going on making our pet craft. So what kinds of pets are there? Can you name any of them? Hmm. What should we make for a pet craft? Do you have some ideas? Tell me, share some of your ideas with me. What can we do for a pet craft? I love those ideas. Well, I think I'm going to make a cat 
mask that you can wear. Yes. All right, let's make our cat mask. I need a cat color. I don't have too many colors, but sometimes cats are orange. So I'm going to make an orange pet cat mask. All right, here we go. First, let's draw a circle. Gotta make it big. I made my first circle too small. I'm not sure, maybe it would have fit my face. I'm not sure, but I drew on the back. If it's too small, you can just use the back and make a bigger circle for your cat. Now we need to draw two ears on our cat. So we're gonna draw a triangle on one side and a triangle on the other for some ears. So cute, love it. All right, we need to draw two circles where our eyes are gonna get cut out. Now for that part, we're going to need an adult to help cut out the eyes. An adult to help cut out the eyes. I make them nice and big because they need to be for our eyes. And that way it gives lots of room to see through. Okay, two holes. We need to give Cat a nose. Let's use some different paper. I'm gonna use my scrap paper. I always keep my little bits so that way if I only need a little bit, I have some. I'm going to make a triangle for the nose. And I'm gonna turn it upside down. Okay, I draw my triangle. And then I'm gonna cut it out to make cat's nose like that. And then I can glue it on. There's my glue. Maybe I'm gonna use this extra white paper that I have. I keep my scraps. I'm gonna use this part to make two circles for some cheeks. I love keeping all my scrap paper for my crafts. That way we're good to a planet. And if you just need enough paper to make some cheeks, well, no big deal. I got just the right piece. Because you don't want to use an entire piece of paper when I only need this much. So it's good to keep a little scrap paper bin for when you just need a little and you don't need a lot. Let's cut out our cheeks. One cheek. Take off my lid and I turn it up and it's ready to glue. I put a little glue on the back, not a lot, just a little, just a dot, not a lot. I'm gonna press and hold to make sure the glue bonds both papers together for our pet cat. Now the other cheek. Glue the back, glue the back. Got my cheek, and I'm gonna add it just like that. Hold it for a moment. And now my cat has a nose and two cheeks. But I have another idea. I have extra scrap bread, so maybe I'm gonna make a tongue. A tongue sticking out, how cute. So I'm gonna use the letter U to make a tongue shape. A letter U with a line to make a tongue shape. Oh, I forgot. Actually, we'll still make it. A tongue with a letter U and a line. I'm going to cut it out. See, I just keep my scraps and look at how many different things I can cut out of this. And this is still good. I'm going to keep that. 
This is too small. I don't think I can use this scrap paper. So I can recycle this, but this piece, look, it has lots of paper left, so I can keep using it till it's all gone or too small to use. Okay, so now I'm gonna glue my tongue on my cat. Now I'm gonna draw on some whiskers. I'm also going to add some nostrils on the nose and some put up my whiskers. I got nostrils on the nose. I'm going to add two more triangles in the ears. I'm going to color those pink for the inner ear. So I've colored them pink and now I'm ready to cut out my cat's face. to get my, and you all, you'll need to get an adult to help you cut out the eyes and I'm gonna cut out mine. You can do two things. You can get a stick and you can put a stick on it so you can hold it like a mask. Or if you get string, you put two hole punches and then put string that wraps around your head. So you have two options to wear your cat mask. And just like that, your cat mask is done. It's time for our fun, relaxing painting part of our episode where you get to sit and relax and watch me make a painting just for you. We're going to create a pet for our painting. What pet could we make? There are so many different animals that could be a pet. We could do a turtle, maybe a parrot. We could do a mouse. What about a gecko? We could do a fish. But you know what? I think we're going to make a dog. So let's create a dog for our pet. So you sit back and relax and I will make you a dog.
lovely friend. Thank you so much for joining me and exploring pets with me. Today we explored all kinds of different pets. Can you remember any that we talked about? Well, there was fish. Hmm, what else? Cats. Dogs. Do you remember any more? Let's try to find two more. Birds. And bunnies. And we did talk about lots of other pets as well. So if you had more ideas than that, two thumbs up for you. We drew a bunny that starts with the letter B for bunny. And we made a cat mask. Meow. And then we ended it with a wonderful dog painting. Thank you so much for joining me in this pet expedition where we learned about all the different animals that could be our best friends. Until next time, I hope you have a wonderful day and I hope you continue to let your creative spirit shine and make lots of crafts and drawings on your own. For more ideas, visit artastickids.com to find ideas, tutorials, and online art lessons for kids. Bye for now.